Hey guys, it's Nate at BD Outdoors. Um, I got a beautiful 22 foot cobia behind me. I'm down in Point Loma at Big Bay Yachts. They're the only certified West Coast dealer for cobia. We're gonna go ahead and take a little walk through this boat so I can show you some of the features and explain why it's a killer fishing machine. Um, as you see right off the bat, uh, the cobias come in a couple different coloration options. This is a really cool two-tone um, gray and white. You see that the metal's been uh, coated with a black liner as well to kind of prevent oxidation. So there's a really cool color scheme going on here. Cobia is good about making sure you have options to customize your boat um, in terms of aesthetics. So Cobia is based out of Florida. Um, one of the things you'll notice with their whole design is Florida gets a lot of wind. So this boat has a rather steep um, bow hole design here. You see it has a bit of a flare. That's going to pre prevent you from getting wet in that wind chop. Um, and it's also going to just allow the ride to be a little smoother. Um, it's not going to slap as much when you're going through that swell, which most of our most of our local audience here in San Diego knows that year round we get that wind chop. Um, this is a good boat for its size uh, and it handles the seas really well. Let's go take a look at the power real quick. So this Cobia is paired up with a 200 Yamaha. Um, Yamahas are, as you know, incredible outboards, extremely reliable, plenty of power. I think this is more, more than enough power for this boat given the weight. Um, probably be cruising at, you know, the standard 25 knots with, depending on conditions. Um, yeah, this is a perfect outboard for this boat. Um, we're gonna go ahead and go inside take a look at the interior features. So another cool thing about Cobia is that they kind of have found the intersection between um, comfort, accessories, features, and then fishability as well. So they kind of pride themselves on being a good family boat, but also like a tournament level um, fishing option. Um, as you can see here, this boat is pretty much set up with everything you would need uh, for local fishing. Given this size, 22 feet, this is going to be a boat that you'd be running to the local islands with, um, that you'd be fishing the kelp, uh, getting offshore to a certain extent to chase the tuna, but a good all around boat um, for the local fishery. Um, right off the bat here in the stern, this is a perfect example of Cobia's use, kind of their ingenuity in, in providing different features on these boats. So this is a pretty cool um, stand-up stern bench, which adds space for another two people. Um, obviously riding in the stern is gonna be the most comfortable ride. So it's important that um, you have a place to sit in the back as that's a, valuable, that's a valuable asset having seating in the stern where it's the most smooth. Um, cup holders everywhere. You see there's cup holders here, two cup holders in the bow up there. Um, Comes equipped with a live well. This live well on the port side is probably gonna comfortably hold a, a scoop or a scoop and a half of bait. You don't wanna crowd the bait too much, but that's more than enough for four people fishing, fishing a day locally. Um, this bench seat as well serves also as a secondary rocket launcher for your rods. You have uh, three rocket launchers here. Um, you can kind of store your trolling setups here when you're not actively using them. You have a, a five, five piece rocket launcher up top. Again, I mentioned this is all lined with coating. So this coating is really, really cool because when you have that stainless steel all over your boat with any protection for it, um, oxida oxidation is a huge issue. And there's a lot of upkeep that goes into making sure that your stainless isn't constantly oxidizing, particularly if your boat's in a slip. So taking into account you have uh, seven rod holders that can be stored up here. You have three that can be stored here. And then you see that these gunnels here, you may have deck brushes or gaffs or whatnot you wanna keep in this area, but you have three more um, areas for shorter rods. So if you wanted to keep your trolling rods here, you could hypothetically store 14 to 16 rods on this boat without any of the rods being uh, stored on the gunnels, which which kind of get in the way when you're actively fishing. So there's more than enough rod storage um, for three people, four people to fish on this boat. So this helm seat, the backrest, 
can actually be removed. Um, my preference would be that this would be the setup for fishing. Um, this just allows you to have a lot more room here. Let's say there's a lot of room under this seat for a cooler. Um, you could always put a strap across the two back bars here and put a cooler in there for drinks or for whatever. Uh, but removing this, removing this backrest gives you a lot of, a lot more space. And as you can see here, if you're using it as a lean post, it really doesn't affect your seating option as at all while you're underway. So I'm inside the cockpit. This is very unique thing, uh, unique to Kobe as I haven't seen this before. You have storage up top here. So that's obviously where you're probably going to put your radios. You could also put them here, but a good storage space here. And then I turn around, I have another storage place here. So there's tons of storage in this cockpit area. Um, both in front of you and behind you. And that's really, really unique. I haven't seen that before. You have a light up top here and a light here. So this cockpit's gonna get really lit up at night. Uh, plenty of visibility if you're fishing or you're underway in the dark. Uh, another thing, this rocket launcher here has two, and this comes with about two, um, two holders that are actually placed out at a 90 degree angle. That's really, really great for trolling. Um, a boat of this size, you could obviously put outriggers on it, but it's very cool to have um, to have rocket launchers that are angled out to keep your bait away from from the other baits and to uh, separate your lines when you're trolling. Um, again, this bench seat, really nice waterproof kind of leather material here. You have a bar below for your feet to rest. You also have um, kind of a lean post setup if you like to do this when you're underway. Uh, obviously you have the digital controls for the Yamaha here. The digital controls are really, really awesome. The fact that that comes with this is, is cool. Has a brand new engine. So um, JL audio sound system as well. There's six speakers here, two in the hard top, one on the port and starboard midship here, and then two in the bow. So, um, it's going to be plenty loud enough if you're kind of having a fun day on the boat, blasting music. Brand new Garmin um, multifunction display. This is going to serve as your fish finder as well as your navigation um, screen. One of the first things when I came down and looked at the interior was I really like this switchboard. So it has like the commercial grade, just the simple switches, no rubber really involved. Um, just an up and an up and a down. I think simpler is better when it comes to switchboards and just being able to visually see everything in front of you. Um, comes with a windlass for the anchor. Another really cool thing about this cockpit is that I'm sitting here right now with my feet up and I got full visibility. Um, I'm not having to to stand on my toes to look for kelps or to look for birds. I can sit here and I have great visibility just in the seating position. Um, I can also sit back and still reach the wheel. And that's really nice. On a lot of boats where their leaning post is or their bench seat is, you actually can't reach the wheel at all. Here I can still be sitting and reaching the wheel. And I'm also not a tall guy. So if you're taller than me, you really are gonna be able to drive all seated. Um, again, Cobia is pretty good about integrating some family elements to the boat and comfort elements. So there's a, a rail here. So if you're underway, somebody actually has something to hold on to. That's really nice. Again, more seating options. You have a seat up front. So I'm in the bow now. Um, this is a very comfortable place to sit as well, depending on the seas. The cool thing about this Cobia is the cushioning is actually fairly thick all the way around the boat. So this is going to take a lot of absorption. If you're going over swells, um, you're not going to be slamming and, and booking a chiropractic appointment uh, immediately once you're on land. I open this up. Um, this is another area, another kill box here. So it's insulated, it's plumbed. So you have one, two, and three plumbed fish boxes in the bow. Plenty of, plenty of space to store your catch. Um, I haven't seen this before, but in the bow here as well, there's removable backrests. So let's say you have five people on the boat, um, you know, or maybe even six. You have two people at the helm. You have one person or two people in the back 
and then you have another person who doesn't really want to sit here you can actually sit here and sit here in the bow and you have backrests and of course these come out so if you're fishing and you don't want that in the way you can take these out as well but that's really a cool feature for cruising um, or just when you have more people than normal on the boat um, another feature that i've been noticing on uh, a lot of these 2023 models of different manufacturers are they're integrating this this step platform and this actually comes out there's a latch underneath that that secures it but this is cool in that you can choose as to whether you want a platform to stand on to cast off the bow giving you a little bit higher elevation or if you want to take this out and you can almost lock yourself into cast and i really really like this because a lot of times when you're tuna fishing you have to abruptly stop the weather's rough and just being able to either lock yourself into a rail or to a space like this gives you a lot more stability when you're launching that jig so in the bow we have the windlass um this is nice and that the windlass is actually it's underneath this hatch here so that's nice and that's protected a lot from the elements this is a completely stainless you know um piece of machinery here and having that inside of a latch uh, just gives it more protection prevents it from oxidation so as you saw this cobia 220 has all the options needed for an awesome day of fishing has plenty of am amenities for the family um, it's a great boat in terms of combining comfort with fishability and i feel like this is a great fishing machine for the san diego fishery here particularly the inshore fishery um, if you're interested in the boat contact Big Bay Yachts to hear more about this specific model. And again, they are the only certified dealer on the West Coast.